everybody, this is Glenda with Freylands and Friends, and I'm so glad to be here. Any day I'm glad to be here. <laughs> Tonight I'm going to do something a little different. I mean, it's kind of the same, but not the same, you know, kind of like that. I know you're going to see this hair. Isn't that nice? Joe did me the, did me the mercy of trimming just the edges around the sides and the top because it was really driving me nuts and he's you know he said well now it'll hold you at least until you can get it professionally done and that is a big 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 relief so tonight I did make a blank for a zebra and it is cooling and I put tails on the owl and the penguin but the penguin I couldn't find any black left anywhere so I'm gonna have to paint the penguins tail but at least they'll stand up now so while I'm waiting for those to cool I want to show you something these are the boards that Joe put that Joe cut out for me for these displays and it's not wanting to stay put <laughs> poor giraffe I'm gonna have to put a I'm gonna probably put a flat um, piece of flat clay to stand him and make a stand for him and I might do that for camel too but he's not tipping as much so this is the one where I figure I'm gonna put the penguin and the owl and at some point I do hope to make the bluebird Carla I have not forgotten I kind of feel like this elephant is now out of place he's cute but he's kind of a little I don't know who he reminds you of maybe but I think I might make a larger more to size elephant and or more to scale not to size my goodness I'd fill the whole house more to scale for for this and I am going to use some of my paints to kind of give more of a look on these humps and stuff I just and well and I haven't glazed them yet either and that's something I want to do here is my current dilemma not that it's a big one it's just a dilemma <laughs> I'm going to need to order more white and I'm going to need to order uh, something to make because I don't I don't have any black left I don't have any white left and I don't I don't don't have a problem with trying to paint the zebra my hands are not crazy steady but I figure I can probably figure out a way if I take I can take some of my nerve medication that doesn't make me sleepy. All it does is help with the shakes. And I don't, I usually don't do that just for that, but it's, I can take it when I want to. I'm just stubborn. <laughs> it's <coughs> like, I, like I, it's not a narcotic stuff. It's gabapentin, which is basically what they give people for singles but it works on it's a, it works on the nerves and that's one reason but some days I don't shake as bad as others see you now like today I'm not too bad so that's where we are right now so I will paint the penguin's tail tonight and the owl will finally have its tail feathers so it'll stand up I don't know that I can do any more on the zebra until I'm able to get his to get some more clay because I don't want to get black and then try to you know do the black and white that way I'm thinking more of doing a white paint and then adding the black stripes so I don't know I I might I thought of possibly mixing these two together to come up with a base color 
but the, there's a guy I watch, Ace of Clay, and he said when he discovered Super Sculpey, Sculpey is the brand of clay that, I, that I've been using, and he said that the Super Sculpey just works so much better for figures and, and when you're wanting to, I don't know, he just likes it. So I thought I would give it a try. The it, if it's less sticky than than that white that I've been using, then I'm all for it. <laughs> but he's a lot more advanced than I am too. So I'm not going to finish zebra tonight. Okay. There's the owl. He now has tail feathers. I hope you can see him there. So. There, he's got his tail feathers. Well, that's the flat side. They don't look very feathery, but I did put some. So he'll be able to stand up now. I hope. There. Here's a, my blank for the zebra. And, okay, this whole neck isn't going to be all neck. I mean, that's, I mean, he's going to have some body in there, too. But tried to shape out something of a horse figure with a, you know, it's just, like I said, it's the blank. <laughs> I have to cover it over with what will become the zebra. And I went ahead and put the, I went ahead and made the blank with the legs on. <laughs> and instead of trying to add them later, I think I probably did that with the, I'm not sure. I think I probably did that with the others too. I'm not sure. But at least they're a start, so I can just kind of cover them. Oh, I know what it was, the paws. Well, he's going to have hooves. So, <laughs> anyway, it's more talk tonight than it is do, but I do want to, I've seen, I had to put a brown tail on my penguin because that's what he was missing so he could stand up. So we're going to take a little bit of black, and I'm also going to give you a little bit of a hack that I figured out. Or that I found. But find the black here. Everything's in blue until I get to it. Find the black. Next to the last one I picked up. Okay. Last time I painted those spots on the giraffe. Well, no, I painted the lion. That's what I did. That was the last one I did. I forgot to clean my brush. I was tired. It was late. He took a long time. And so I forgot to clean my brush. But my brush is perfectly fine now. Because what I found out, what uh, I thought, well, alcohol will probably take it out. And it probably would. But there's a lot of alcohol in my hand sanitizer, and it's a gel, so it's not going to need as much. You know, a little dab will do you kind of thing, because it's not going to evaporate as fast. I just put a little hand sanitizer on a piece of paper towel, and then I swished my brush around in it, and it wasn't long that paint was out. <laughs> there was no more paint in that brush. So, just a little hack for you there and if you're a, somebody who likes to paint and forget to clean the brush. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and paint his tail here because I want it to be black like him. There. Now he's got a tail to match. Oh, 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 that's okay. It's on the bottom, so it don't show. I thought I was good. <laughs> thought I covered his feet. So I'm gonna have to set him on his nose now to let that tail dry. But I do have something for you. Joe got some footage of squirrels again. But he got, well, he not only got the one up on the gr garage roof and eating at the corn, but he also got one down on the ground. 
kind of looking up at the one that's eating on the ground. Well, he's actually, I think, finding it. It looks at one point like the squirrel on the feeder is throwing down. I'll let you see it. You don't want the whole story ahead of time. I'll let you see <laughs> being with us tonight I hope you enjoyed those squirrels they were so fun and I thought the circus music was perfect for them the I think there were actually three because there was the one up on this roof and there's the one that was on the ground over by the cart and I think the one on the tree was different because they're on two separate sides of the garage so I really do think that he was on his way up to go get some of that corn off the cob. <laughs> They're so fun. And I have had a, a request to go out on the scooter and I would love to get out and get some nature shots. Today, way too windy. It just, it, the wind was blowing something fierce today so it really wouldn't have done any good. But I kind of like to go like down to the park and just look for wildlife. And then I would, then hopefully I'll finish that zebra. You can still make suggestions. It doesn't have to be with the animals or the zoo stuff. It can be for a lot of stuff. If I'm capable of doing it, I will give it a try. <laughs> Maybe Joe and I will go look at some towns again. And whatever else is around, I don't know. There's plenty. So, 
But thank you for stepping, staying with us and please do subscribe, click that notification bell and give me a thumbs up. And I'm going to give you a thumbs up because you are so special and you should give yourself a thumbs up. And just like this, hi thumb, I love me. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but it's so true. Love yourself. And you are loved because Jesus loves you and he, he commanded us to love. So it is a decision and I've decided I love you. I, I don't have to see you. I don't have to know exactly who you are. We will see you tomorrow. Thank you and good night. God bless.